here at KW uh, HQ in Fichtenberg. We are here to do the four-post rig and also to do some subjective assessment of the suspension uh, setup on the vehicle. We had a starting point from simulations. Uh, we did a lot of uh, subjective tests. Now we are at the four poster, we are doing the complete sweeps of all frequencies and, and different damper speeds. My name is Miros Lozrnčević and I'm the test and development driver for Rimac Automobile. On the four post or seven post rig, we are running sweeps, for example, that are synthetic signals. We are also running track profiles, which are collected maybe on roads we, we know and we drive all day, or also track roads like the Nordschleife or like uh, the Sachsenring. That shows us in many ways that the Four-post rig is not just a theoretical objective data collector, it's similar to the real world and this is the reason why we can do a lot of things on the rig without all the issues when you are on the track and uh, we are way faster than that and then we can go to the track and yeah, have a good basic setup level already. The four poster gives you that best overview of, of everything. So you see how the car is pitching and heaving, you see uh, the roll of the car. You can simulate not only the, the frequency sweeps, but you can simulate the road conditions. One of the roads around uh, Fichtenberg where we test the car is in the simulator. So you can see the bumps, the heaves, what's happening and optimize that. It's really, really satisfying to see and gives you a really a good perspective that you can correlate when you're driving the car. So after the, the test is done, we're going back to Croatia. We're doing some updates on the car and the vehicle. And first test that we're going to do is on the track we know the best, it's Grobnik. We're going to do a proper shakedown and we're going to compare the two cars. So we have an old car, let's say now it's an old car with an old setup of suspension, with the new setup of the suspension to, to do a back-to-back -back comparison on the track. And after that, Nardo and um, probably the Ada. The first contact and approach between Remark and KW was roughly 10 years ago and it was a little bit weird and strange because we got an email. Inquiry was, hi guys, I'm from Croatia. I have a BMW E30. I have plus 1,000 horses. It's electrified. I said, what? Considering it's 10 years ago. And finally, we have been impressed about his insane project that we said, okay, let's support this entrepreneur story because also KW, uh, Klaus Wolfart, our, our founder and leader, he started in such a young age and only with obstacles and people who have doubts. And we said, no, we don't want to be like that. We want to be a supporter. And well, the outcome 10 years after is a little bit more than just a BMW E30. Having our suspension and the Remax C2, uh, which is our most innovative product available for KW, you know, at the moment, um, that makes it, uh, you know, very special. In a way that uh, Marty Remax used already in his very first car, you know, in all his cars he built, including now the Remax C2, he's on on a KW suspension. So it's a long-term relationship, and that's, you know, really something we are uh, very proud about.